Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with me. Breaking news. And um, I'm just happy. I'm happy that Nick Nurse is officially the 76ers head coach. Thank you. I think he was the right candidate. I think he was the right pick for the 76ers. And I think that Joel Embiid will respect him because he does have a recent championship. He has the only champ. He has the um, only championship in, with the Toronto Raptors. The only coach to win a championship with the Toronto Raptors. And he won a championship when he had a superstar named Leonard. When he was healthy, they was pretty darn good because they won the championship. But yeah, Nick Nurse is officially a 76ers. Let's go. Yes, I like Nick Nurse. Thank you, Daryl Murray, for making that decision and not hiring Mike D'Antoni. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that that's somebody that Joel and B would definitely respect. He, ha- he, would, he would have no choice but to respect Nick Nurse. You know what I'm saying? He has a championship. It's recent. And um, he knows how to make the proper adjustments when it matters the most in the playoffs. And that's why I wanted Nick Nurse. And I'm excited for this upcoming season. The next, do- the next domino uh, will be the next domino effect will be James Harden not signing with the Houston. Signing with the Houston Rockets. Get him out of here. I don't want him. And Tobias Harris. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him um, out of here. Do y'all want Tobias Harris and James Harden? Nah, bruh. Nah. Nah, bruh. We don't want him. Let them go. Trade Tobias for anything you could possibly get. You know what I'm saying? And James Harden can go. And, um, but yeah, that's a, that's a very good hire. Uh, Congratulations to all the 76 er fans. Congratulations, we got the best coach out of all of them, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. But, um, yeah, so on to the next. Uh, Shaquille New, one of the greatest centers of all time with the Lakers, winning three championships with Kobe Bryant and the Lakers, and one championship with the great D-Wade from the Miami Heat. Yes, he has some things to say about Joel Embiid, and I think all of it is pretty much true. And um, what he had to say pretty much was he needs the truth. Joel Embiid is too big. This is other, in other words, this is what Shaq said. Joel Embiid is too big to be shooting all them jump shots. Get down low and do what you got to do. Be more aggressive. Dominate the other team. Dominate the paint. Stop shooting fadeaway jump shots when you're three foot from the basket. Dunk it on their heads. Stop playing games with the ball get the ball in the basket bro and i really think and then he also said what did shaq say he said he also said he needs someone that that he can respect like a coach that he can really respect and i think we just got him nick nurse we just got him you know what i'm saying so he's gonna respect nick nurse but i honestly agree with shaquille o'neal and i hope shaquille o'neal has has joel's number and calls him and says he really means nothing by he just wants him to be great you need to start shooting jump shots Stop falling in love with the jump shot. I really think that Joel Embiid is so talented, he forgets that he's the biggest player on the court. I really do. You shouldn't be shooting fadeaway jump shots on someone that's six foot eight when you're seven foot one or seven foot two. There's no way you should be doing that, Joel Embiid. What are you doing? That's just my opinion. Like, and I honestly think that Joel Embiid shoots a lot of jump shots. I don't even think it's laziness. I think it's more. That he doesn't want to be that type of player. He doesn't want to go down low because it's more taxing on his body. And yes, he is injury prone, so he's trying to save his body. But he still gets injured. So it's like he just needs to get more physical. He needs to get in the weight room. He needs to get more muscle, less fat, whatever he has to do. Whatever he has to do to get better because he has everything. He has the package. He has the step back three. He has everything. He be he has every move you can think of offensively. He just needs to be more aggressive when it comes down low he needs to be more aggressive period point blank period there's no if buts about it for you to be that big and you're shooting jump shots over a a six foot eight player take him down low and i understand the double team could come easier when you're down low but dude you got to be more aggressive down low get them get them in foul trouble especially in the playoffs right we he scored i believe 15 points in game seven we got blown out we got blown out why didn't he ask for the ball down low more why was he shooting jump shots? 
Go down low and get the other team in foul trouble. That's how you control the game. In the playoffs, the pace is slower. It's a half-court offense. Throw it down low, post them up, get them in foul trouble, mess up their rotations because you mess up their rotations, that gives you more of a chance to win when you get their play, when you get their key players in foul trouble. I'm just got to talk my talk. I know y'all understanding what I'm saying. I, I know y'all feeling what I'm saying. I have to talk my talk because it's true. When you get the other players in foul trouble, you're messing up the other team's rotations and you're messing up, you're just, there's a higher chance you're going to win when the starters are not playing. Just keeping it real. And Joel and B needs to realize that. Shaq ain't trying to come at you as like, yo, you're not a good player. You are. You're a great player. That's why you want MVP. But you didn't play like an MVP when it counts the most. And when it counts the most is in the playoffs and you did not do what you had to do. Forget James Harden doing what he had, what he was doing. He did get you two games scoring 40 points, but he, other than that, he was not that good. You needed to step your game up, bro. Joel and B need, needed to step his game up. And, like, that's all I really got to say, man. But congratulations to the Sixer fans, man. Diehard Sixer fans. We, we've been waiting for a coach like Nick Nurse. We've been waiting for a coach like Nick Nurse. I think he's going to put us over the top, man. And I think that Joel Embiid is going to take his game to the next level when it comes to defense. And he's going to take his game to the next level when it comes to being aggressive down low and posting up more because we need that. But we need to get a superstar to replace James Harden because I'm hoping James Harden goes to the Rockets. If he goes to the Rockets and Tobias Harris goes I think we need to try to go after Dame. We need to go after somebody with a name that Joel Embiid will listen to. You know what I'm saying? We do. I really do. And um, tell me in the comments below what you think about the Nick Nurse. Like, I like it. I love it. That's what I was expecting, to be honest with you. Out of all the candidates, that's the one I would have chose. But um, let me know. Like, is Shaq right about Joel Embiid needing to be down low a little bit more? Is Shaq right? Is Nick Nurse the guy? Is he the guy to put us over the Mike top? Sports Vibes. Thank you for yeah, vibing thank, with thank me. You for vibing with me. I ain't going to keep y'all watching me. Even though, you know what I mean? I know y'all like listening to me sometimes. I'm joking. But real talk though, man. I appreciate y'all time and watching me and talking my talk about sports, man. And like when I do, this is a, this is just a, just thinking off the top of my head right now. When I finally do hit like 500 subscribers, I'm gonna give. A, I'm gonna have a giveaway. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna give away, but for the people that is subscribed to my YouTube channel, following my Instagram, following my TikTok, I definitely want to select uh like 10 people and I'm gonna send them something, shirt, probably a gift card for supporting your bull, man. For real, I really appreciate y'all and like, um, it's a blessing, man, because. It, it, this is fun to me. This isn't really a job to me. This is fun. And I like talking to people and interacting with y'all. And um, even though it is the off season with the Philadelphia 76ers, for me, for me, this is this is fun still. We going to talk all off season and hopefully we make the proper moves to put us over the top because we do, we have to make some moves. We have to get rid of James. We have to get rid of Tobias. We have to do something. We have to change the culture of the Philadelphia 76ers. I've been saying I want LeBron James. I know that's probably not realistic. I know people saying his age, but he's the top 10 basketball player right now. So, in my opinion, 27 points at 38, got to the Western Conference Finals. That's all I got to say, man. I'm out, man. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate you vibing with me. If you're a Philadelphia 76 er fan, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And um, I'm out.